Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show how to export your Krita illustration to Blender for some further 2.5D animation. We start in Krita, separating each element into a separate layer. Make sure that each element has enough space to move. Then we'll have to change names of the layers and enumerate them. To change the numbers of the layers, you can use my script I wrote or do them manually. We'll use the default export layers script to export our layers. Uh, just select your document, a initial directory when you want your uh, layers exported, and then uh, change the images extensions to PNG. Make sure that every asset was correctly exported. Now we can move to Blender. Here in preferences, we need import, export, import images as planes. Now in File Import, Images as Planes should appear. Select all your images and import them as shadeless with Z plus offset. The default offset value is a bit too big, so we'll make it smaller. If you switch to Rendered mode, you'll see your images. With G, S and R buttons, you can move, rotate and scale your layers. You can also press the middle mouse button or uh, buttons X, Y or Z to constrain the movement to the axis. Now optionally you can cut out your layers using K button for knife tool. With shift right click you can move your cursor to the right origin point of each branch. Then press Shift A and add an empty cube. Press Shift and drag the object to the empty cube. This way it will move with the correct origin point. You should also connect smaller objects to the bigger ones. Parent objects will move with children, but children can move on their own. Repeat those actions for every object until you get whole your illustration working correctly. Move to the Animation tab. Pick the object you want to animate and then press I to insert the keyframe. You can then press Shift D on them to duplicate them. On the frame between those you can uh, apply some transformations and then insert another keyframe. Change one of those views into a graph editor. Apply a Cycles modifier to loop the animation. This way you can animate both position, scale and rotation of your objects. Note that you can still use S and G to move and scale your graphs. Animating camera isn't very different. Firstly, we need to change the initial value with Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 shortcut. Reset the cursor position to the center of the scene. Add the empty cube again here. If you connect camera to it, you'll be able to easily rotate it. Camera movement is still easier to animate using the camera object instead of the empty cube. Pressing I to insert the keyframe, you can even animate the color of the background. Lastly, pick the correct resolution, the output path, and correct uh, file format. Hit Ctrl F12 to render the animation. And that's all. Thanks for watching.